Hello, my loving and beautiful human sisters. I am wigging out over our conversation about beauty and hair. Get it? Wigging out? <laughs> okay, horrible pun. Listen, my heart goes out to everyone that shared that they too have struggled with body image, hair, and beauty. Wow, you are powerful. I appreciate your vulnerability so much and for joining me in this conversation. There is so much more to say on this topic about beauty and in particular hair. So I thought I'd share a bit more on the topic. Let's dive into some numbers, shall we? I thought the numbers told a super interesting story about what we think globally and in the U.S. about appearance. First, let's just acknowledge that the beauty industry kills it in the market, making over $500 billion. It's predicted to reach $700 billion in the next four years. Whoa. So what are these numbers made of? Well, over $100 billion comes from cosmetics. Over $150 billion from skincare, over $250 billion from personal care, whoa, what's up, and $60 billion from fragrance. <sighs> if you're wondering like I did about that personal care industry, that's where the hair is. Boom. Hair care makes up the bulk of the beauty industry at over $200 billion a year spent on hair around the world. Woo! Shampoo, coloring, and hair oils make up the bulk of hair care industry. We want it silky, soft, shiny, long, curly, straight, and grow. I had no idea that over 50% of women will experience some form of hair loss. Did you know that? I didn't know that. There are four main forms of hair loss in women. First, hair loss from medication or radiation like chemotherapy. For our sisters surviving and fighting cancer, we hear you, we see you, and we love you. Every one of us knows somebody who has fought or survived cancer. Too many. Too many women. Second, hair loss from stress. This can be stress on the physical body can also be emotional stress, mental stress, anything that creates drastic changes. For example, extreme weight loss. This is where eating disorders come in. Things like death of a loved one. It can be an emotional stress. Abnormal thyroid. Medication sometimes can cause stress and shock to the body. Third, traction alopecia and CCCA are primarily caused by the pulling of hair to straighten with hot combs, tight curlers, cornrows, weaves, ponytails, and other practices that pull on the root or the hair follicle. The majority of women who experience this type of hair loss are of African descent in an attempt to straighten and relax their beautiful tight curls. I was very unaware of the hair loss shame that black women have felt. The courageous personal stories of some of my favorite women, Jada Pinkett Smith and Viola Davis, helped bring this to light for me. It was their examples, along with many, many others, that gave me the courage to share my own. Lastly, women can also experience female pattern hair loss, either because of age, genetics, even menopause, maybe that's me, or even having a baby. What do we think is beautiful? What are the expectations of beauty for ourselves and our fellow sisters of humanity? What do we consider well-groomed? Best of all, what is ugly? Yeah, ugly. Yeah, ugly. Ugly. What does ugly look like? You know what's really funny? The second thought I had about ugly is a bad attitude. That disdain look. That condescending, you suck, I'm way blankety-blank-er than you. Tall-er, smart-er, pretty-er, slimmer-er. 
Ugly is comparing oneself to another. You want to know what my very first instinctive thought was? The very first microsecond thought that came to mind is me. I'm uglier than some women. And here's my guess. Many of you thought this too. And the thing is that if the majority of women have thought this, it can't possibly be true, right? Because ugly comes from comparing. You compare yourself to someone else. So if the majority of women have felt ugly, you're comparing ugly to ugly. And two uglies have got to cancel each other out. So where does ugly come from? I wish it was all just Darwinian fighting for reproductive resources, but I don't think so. Look at that giant, ever-growing, money-making machine over there. That hundreds of billions of dollars. That hungry giant is feeding on our ugly trying to get pretty. Now, I want you to look right at me, okay? Look at me in the video. Really look at my eyes and tell me. Tell me I'm ugly. No, really. Can you? Can you honestly say I'm ugly right now? Okay. Now imagine that's you in there. Having fun. Dressing up. Playing. Now tell me, how could you possibly be anything but divine? My sweet friends, dress up, make up for you, for fun, for creativity, to feel good without feeding the comparison machine. You are enough. You are beautiful. You're lovable. And you are intrinsically divine. Please, let's keep this conversation going. How did this video make you feel? I want to know. Do you have more information to add? A comment? A question? The floor is yours, my friend.